Hey guys, it's Tyler, and I have some great news for all of you. So basically, after 10 whole long years of waiting, we actually got another update on Yumaniki, and it's on Steam now and everything. It is amazing. Like, I never ever thought that this would happen, but it just did. And it even has a new version of everything. It's called version point ten A. But although I wouldn't really say that there's anything really new, it's just basically an official English version but with bugs and missing sound files and stuff. But don't worry, they're updating that and everything. And what's even better is that is that like maybe this can get more people to play it and everything. This came out just um January 9th, but I just felt I should make a video on it now because I've been busy with school stuff and everything. And what's great is they even have a bunch of a bunch of updated stuff like like guess what? I think they're going to make a sequel and it has a countdown timer on it and everything. And on the site there's a picture of Matasuki and when you click on it it takes you to the trailer for this. It's called Yumaniki Dream Diary and it's gonna be supposedly like a sequel. I'm hoping it will like have new areas and stuff. I mean that would great that would be great. And they're also updating, fixing the bugs and everything, and it's awesome. Just I never ever thought this would happen. It's just so mind blowing. It seems as if <laughs> I'm dreaming. It's amazing. Like the Steam version, it is pretty good. Like I have it downloaded and everything, and I've already completed it. Uh, I just wish it wasn't so laggy, but it's still cool. And there's some, yeah, like, like, as you can see, the font is different and everything, and it's now it's using the official English version of RPG Maker now. I just wish it wasn't so laggy and everything, and there are a bunch of sound files that aren't playing. But I have to admit, though, not everything I'm completely impressed with, like, some of these effect names, like, get fat how did it go from fat to get fat um there's kitchen knife there's snow woman ipod they got rid of all the japanese talking head talking head i never would have thought of that poo hair spirit headband squish squish devil traffic light because stoplights are offensive but it means the same thing so i really shouldn't be complaining also the yen symbol's gone unfortunately and just one last cool thing relating to Yumaniki and everything is that, um, so there's a guy online called Louis Denby, and he's really cool. He has made, um, a bunch of video games and everything, and he's actually coming up with this Dream Diary podcast about Yumaniki and everything, and I, I'm even in one of the episodes, like the latest one, the fourth one, um, because I wanted to be, uh, he interviewed me for it and everything, and it's amazing. I would really check it out if you're interested in Yumaniki and everything. So yeah, that's basically all I wanted to talk about. And I might even do a playthrough of the Steam version. We'll have to see. Alright, but that's all you guys. Thanks for watching.